Step 1. Installation Guide. You need to disable the installed extensions to avoid unnecessary conflicts when running the workflow. This also makes it lighter and reduces the execution time compared to using too many extensions. However, if you initially drag and drop it and it still works, you can keep it as it is and continue. After disabling all extensions, the next step is to restart Comfuey for the changes to take effect. Now that Comfuey is completely clean, the next step is to reset Comfuey to its default state as it was initially. At this point, drag the workflow you need to execute or the PNG image containing the metadata of the previous workflow into Comfuey. Open Comfuey Manager and click on Install Missing Custom Nodes. A list of previously installed nodes will appear, you just need to activate them. For any extensions that have not been installed before, simply install them. After activating and installing the extensions, restart Comfuey. The best way to do this is to close and reopen it so that the newly installed extensions will start functioning. After Comfuey is fully operational again, sometimes developers will have certain models download automatically, but this is not always the case. Manual downloads may still be necessary. At this point, you need to run Comfuey to see which models are missing. These will be indicated in red within each node and you will need to download them. At this point, you need to reopen the Comfuey Manager tab and enable the display from the publisher on each node. For example, in this case, the extension is called Segment Anything, which is the name of the custom node set Segment Anything. Remember this name, Segment Anything, and then return to the Comfuey Manager tab. Enable the display of installed extensions and search for the name segment anything. On the extensions destination page, scroll down and check for some models they require you to download and place in that folder. Note that you must name them exactly as required for the extension to load properly. For example, here they require you to download to models and create a folder named Grounding Dino, which should be placed in the model directory of the Comfuey source file. After completing the download, simply click the Refresh button on the Comfuey Manager and the models will be automatically reloaded. Then, you just need to go to the node that was indicated in red and select the correct name as set up in the previous workflow.